what did you let me do? What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Amber with the Ramblin' Richardsons. And I know that the channel's been a little dormant <laughs> lately, but the new year has brought a lot of new things. And so I took some time off from the channel to focus on a few things with the family. And we got some pretty big changes coming up. Um, so just gonna take the time right now to let you know that I need you to go down there and like and subscribe. Ring the notification bell. But in all seriousness, we're just gonna do a little recap of the last couple of weeks here since we've been kind of on hiatus. <laughs> Gosh, it's early, y'all. I don't usually get up this early. Oh, Lord, we got lots of stuff to do today. So, welcome to the channel. Oh, man. Welcome to the channel. My name's Amber with the Ramblin' Richardsons, and got lots of stuff to do today. So, we're out here early, getting after it. First things first, we gotta turn this thing, well... Let me backtrack. Do me a favor, go down there, like, and subscribe. Ring the notification bell so you don't ever miss any of the videos that I post or that we post. And uh, yeah, the first things first is Christmas is like two days away. And this ain't gonna do, not for Christmas pictures. So we're gonna turn this into a better looking haircut. So just like that. Not bad, right? Nice haircut. Check out Floyd's. Come see Sandy. There's a QR code right down here. Whoop. If you can see it. There we go. So make sure you come. You won't believe this. I just flicked that out of my hand. I couldn't have made this shop if I tried. Check that out. I flipped it into my drink. Okay, anyways, now let's go to dad's house. Something's wrong with the internet. Let's go fix it. What did you let me do? Okay, so I fixed dad's internet and his YouTube TV wasn't working. So we got that fixed, stopped off at the pet store, got some crickets. We'll have a feeding video to come maybe on this video may just do it all in one and now i'm in the line getting us some lunch at schlotsky's before i have to go to work it's been a busy day Oh, my goodness. Get him. I don't want to be that guy. There we go. Yeah, that a girl. Oof. Oh, take down. Can you come up here, girl? Can you come up here? <laughs> Okay, good job. Okay, folks, so it's been a minute since I've shown you guys uh, feeding Duke. I've got some cricket series. I already had a few. Um, but we're going to dust these with some calcium. Um, so I've got Repti Calcium without D3 
for chameleons. They don't need D3. It actually can harm them. So we're going to dust these guys and then I'm going to put these in his enclosure. Just had to pre-prep the deli cup. Just going to take a little bit. I'm just going to have to put that in there. I can't film at the same time. Okay, so just got a little bit of calcium in there. I'm just going to gently swirl these guys around just to get a little coated on them. Just like that. That's a little bit. Now we'll give these to Duke. He's waiting. He knows. Buddy, got some more tasty treats for you. Right here. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna set this. There we go. Now he can access them. Oh, yeah. Get after it, buddy. Get one. You can do it, bud. Swing and a miss. Nice. You got two that time, greedy Gus. Jeez. Good job, buddy. Um, today, you can see I got Sheila's tank down. So there's <sighs> stuff always needing to be done. So before we get into it, make sure you go down there and like, subscribe, ring the notification bell so you never miss any of the videos that we post. Let's get into it. Okay, so I opened this guy up to check on my colony of uh, canyon, giant canyon isopods. And I think that there was some fungus that had affected the colony from while back and well, they pretty much all passed. So I've got another set of them in here that I took out from Sheila's tank. There's Sheila's tank. We went ahead and rescaped it. All of the uh, dirt had just naturally eroded down. So I like to have her hide on the closer to the bottom of the enclosure to get that heat, ambient heat from underneath the soil, from the heat mat. Fresh water, of course, her hammock. I just sprayed everything down with some water. Um, so we rescaped a bunch of the stuff. So she's out getting a drink right now. Wanna say hey, sugar? She was. Hey, mama. Gorgeous animal. She's out hunting. There was a couple of crickets that were hiding that came out. She snatched up. She's doing great. She just shed a couple of days ago, so beautiful color. And she's starting to develop this line straight down her back. Okay, hey girl. Anyways, super cool animal. We're gonna put her back up on the shelf. Without Sheila's enclosure on top here, the light, that grow light shines down pretty good on beans. And you can see how well he's getting along. Those gills are starting to grow back in quite nicely. This side a little bit better than the other one. We just did a water change. So there's a little bit of gunk in the water still left over, but he's doing good. Doing good, and we're floating some ice to keep the water cool. Just got fed, so he's a happy chappy. There she is. Hanging out. Probably gonna go underneath there and get some warmth. It's kind of cold out. Okay, just gonna sprinkle a little bit of food. A couple of different places for these guys. It's a very very small colony. We're starting over pretty much. So come back and check on them in a couple of weeks. Of course they'll be fed every week, but 
I'll give an update a few weeks, maybe a month or so. Bella, is it good? <laughs> Well, having to restart here. Oh, there we go. Now I having to restart with the ice pods, but that happens. I haven't been redoing many of the enclosures, so I haven't really needed to check on them recently, but I'm guessing that that fungus probably killed most of them. But we'll uh we'll get them back up to numbers again. No worries there. I guess that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember, life is about the journey, not the destination. And we'll see you on the next video. Peace. I swear these dogs are under my feet all day. Alice. Yes, you. My goodness. Y'all check out what I got cooking over here now. Oh, yeah. Some of that white chicken chili, y'all. Oh, yes. Gonna start with a washed out crock pot and Claude's brisket marinade. Use anything else, it's not going to be good. Just saying, for this recipe, this is what you need. And we had the butcher slice us some nice briskets. Okay, so you put the Claude's marinade in here. Fill it almost all the way up to the tippy top. We got a little bit sticking out there, but that'll be just fine. We got the fat side down. Okay. Now we're going to cook this low and slow for the next like six hours. I really spent the last month or so trying to be present with my family, especially with the holidays. And with that, I've been trying to cook more. So been doing things like Korean fried chicken sandwiches or white beans or hot honey chicken with macaroni and cheese. Maybe even your own homemade poke bowls. Uh, but we're really trying to make a push to be healthier this year. So cooking at home is a must. As you can see, we've had some fun times with the dogs. We've ate some really, really good food. I've been cooking more at home lately, making an effort to do that. Uh, I've been keeping an eye on all of the animals. The other animals are doing good. Uh, feeding the animals is always a fun time. Uh, but we also have a new addition. Got a little something extra going on right up there currently in quarantine so uh yeah the next six months are going to be wild it's gonna be a wild wild ride um uh, but i'm gonna end the video here guys i uh, just wanted to thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel i hope you enjoyed it remember life's about the journey not the destination and we'll see you on the next video peace